Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Capricorn versus all 12 signs reading. Um, so first we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys, what you guys need to know, uh, what's surrounding you guys. Uh, this is going to be for May 2023, by the way. Uh, this could be, you know, regarding love, regarding money, regarding spiritual growth, personal growth. Uh, and then after that, we'll take a look uh, uh, of, um, you know, the Capricorn, uh, Capricorns versus all 12 signs. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your uh, unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live okay so tell me about capricorn tell me about capricorn what's going on with capricorn what is surrounding capricorn what does capricorn need to know what can capricorn expect for uh may 2023 for capricorn here okay we have a six of cups okay with the four swords here you know it seems like it could be that you're making peace with your past here yeah you could be moving on from it and letting it go yeah whatever you've been holding on to regarding the past it could be old relationships it could be past trauma you could be healing from it and moving on from it here we have the six of swords okay Yeah, it seems like you're letting go. It seems like you're surrendering here, uh, 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 um, Capricorn. Yeah, whatever you've been holding on to, even grudges, you know? I just feel like you're letting it go. The hangman, Piscean energy. We have the Fool, not the Fool, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon here, Cancer, Pisces. It seems like you went through a dark period and I feel like this dark period has a lot to do with like holding on to things here and not letting it go. And I feel like you're overcoming it here, uh, uh, Capricorn. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Queen of Swords, Leap, Aquarius, Gemini here. Time of the Six of Cups. We have a Page of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Four of Swords. And the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, someone here could be coming back around wanting to speak with you here, but you could be completely ignoring this individual here, okay? Um, hold on, I have an itch in my eye. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces, Six of Swords here. We got the Emperor, Aries Energy, the Hangman, and the Five of Pentacles here. You know, I, I feel like, you know, there was a death here and I feel like someone here passed away and I feel like you're finally getting to that point where you're comfortable or that you're getting to the point in removing the heaviness of this loss, you, you, you know? So I feel like there is someone here that you're missing here a lot. Could be a father figure. Someone here could have, could have been really close to their father here. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like there's a sense of like just letting go. Yeah, just letting go and surrendering. Time with the moon here. Aries energy with the emperor. We have the sun, Leo energy, the queen of swords here. And the three of pentacles here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're feeling a lot better, feeling a lot happier. You know, I do feel like you do have a strong support system here. Uh, with the page of pentacles here and... Three of Pentacles, you know, this could be indication that some of you guys could be getting like a promotion or a raise or something like that. And you could be really happy about that too. Uh, but I just feel like, you know, there is a sense of releasing control and just surrendering and just allowing things to unfold as it naturally should, you know? So I feel like this is something that you've really learned to achieve here because I feel like it was a struggle. It's it's a struggle. It's been a struggle to be able to let go and just you know kind of like go with the flow and go with the program here, okay? So Capricorn versus all tall signs. 
Capricorn versus all 12 signs. Capricorn versus all 12 signs. Capricorn versus all 12 signs. Capricorn versus all 12 signs here. Capricorn versus all 12 signs. Capricorn versus all 12 signs. What do we have here for Capricorn versus all 12 signs? All right, Capricorn. Aries versus a Capricorn here. Capricorn versus the Aries. Uh, Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands here. Whoever this is, this is an individual that betrayed you or will betray you here. Okay? Um, I do feel like this is... Uh, I heard broken record. I, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that someone here this aries has hurt you multiple times and i feel like you kept giving this person chances and i feel like this aries will hurt you again here uh capricorn okay capricorn versus a taurus here three of pentacles here and the five of cups um this person wishes that things had worked out here between you and the and this taurus here and i feel like this person regrets not putting in the effort this taurus regrets not putting in the effort <laughs> Uh, Capricorn versus a Gemini here. We have the Two of Wands here and the Empress here. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's seeing a future here with you. This is an individual that's seeing growth and expansion here. You know, this this is an individual that wants to manifest here with you. Uh, I, another thing is I, I feel like this person, they're realizing that you are not going to chase them, okay? And I feel like this person has a decision to make whether they want this or not, all right? Uh, Capricorn versus uh, Cancer here. Uh, seven of Pentacles and the Five of... Uh, seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Be careful of this person because this person is a thief, okay? This person's a thief and a liar. So I feel like this person has taken a lot from you. Perhaps things, perhaps energy here. Capricorn versus a Leo here. Ten of Wands here and Ace of Cups. This person has an overwhelming emotion here towards you. I feel like this person has fallen in love with you. Yeah, and I feel like this person's heart is kind of feeling very heavy because it's kind of like, it's a situation where I feel like this person has never felt this way about anybody, okay? Capricorn versus a Virgo. We have the Magician here and the King of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this is an individual that wants to manifest here with you, okay? Uh, Capricorn versus a Libra, Sun of Wands here, and the King of Wands. Mm, I mean, what I get from this is that, you know, it could be that this person's trying to fight for you, you know, or that this person's really protective of you. Could be an indication that this person's pushing you away or trying to resist you here, okay? Capricorn versus a Scorpio. We have the Strength card here and the Fool. Uh, be careful of this person because I do feel like this person could be very sexually reckless here, okay? So if you're not committed to this person, if this person's sleeping around with other people, this person's not using protection, okay? Capricorn versus a Sagittarius here with the King of Cups, uh, Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This person wants it all with you. This person wants it all. Uh, it could be an indication that if you're dealing with this person already or that you have been dealing with this person for a long time, things are going super well, okay? Capricorn versus a Capricorn. Nine of Wands here and the Eight of Swords. Uh, this person is really closed off. Really closed off. Uh, I'm, I'm getting the sense that Capricorn, uh, regarding this person, uh, you just are not ready to climb this wall that they put up here, okay? Capricorn versus an Aquarius. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Five of Swords. Um, someone here is having a mental break here. Yeah, someone here is having a mental break here. Someone here is struggling mentally here uh, because uh, with the Nine of Swords here, I feel like this person is depressed. And I also feel like with the Five of Swords here, this person talks really poorly about themselves or that they believe in that narrative that, you know, they're just not good enough for you, okay? Uh, Capricorn versus the Pisces, Eight of Cups here and the Lovers here. This is an individual that's not very emotionally invested into this relationship here. Even though you have this very strong soul tie here with this person, uh, for some reason they just can't invest. Uh, it could be that they're really focused on their pentacles here. Okay, so Capricorn, hope that this was helpful. Hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.